A South Jersey startup is developing technology designed to reduce tissue damage after a heart attack by targeted cooling of the affected area. Federal grants help to launch the company called Focal Cool, and a state-sponsored incubator is helping it grow. Science and Technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports from the South Jersey Technology Park. This lab bench, with its assemblage of hardware, tubing, and electronic gear, is set up to mimic the human circulatory system. It's a very rough approximation, but realistic enough to test an idea in progress. The people of Focal Cool are working to add a new capability to so-called guide catheters, surgical tools used to deliver balloons and stents to coronary arteries. Our catheter is a cooling guide catheter, so it would have the same functionality as that catheter. However, it would provide cooling to the heart as well. And if we can cool just the heart and just the area that it's needed, we're hoping that we can help save tissue right exactly where it's needed. The tagline that we have is we're trying to harness the power of hypothermia. The idea is to keep cells alive after a heart attack by chilling them not the whole patient. My husband, Dr. Tom Merrill, started Focal Cool in our basement about four or five years ago. He got funding from the National Institute of Health and was able to do some testing there. Further funding enabled Focal Cool to move to the South Jersey Technology Park, an incubator established by the Economic Development Authority. Close links to Rowan University have given the fledgling company access to diverse kinds of expertise. It, in turn, has provided jobs for graduates and even for current students. This is a very hands-on project, and it allows you to dig into multi-faceted points of engineering, whether it be manufacturing or design, and the Rowan curriculum is kind of structured toward that. Much of the work now is aimed at characterizing prototypes and considering how to make the devices easy to use and economical to manufacture. The road toward clinical trials is a long one. And I've also recently been trying to delve into potential uh, other ways our catheter can be used. It's uh, very much fits into the same kind of an idea for stroke patients. So when you have a stroke, um, a, a stroke that's localized, you have a blockage in, in the brain and you can't get blood to that area. So the idea is the same, where we could try to use hypothermia to try to save that tissue. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Mantua Township.